want to tell you that as a lawyer, you must not really practice law here. You have an advantage when it comes to companies who look for corporate officers. That's where you can come in with your law knowledge, you know, and serve as their corporate officers. There are a lot of companies looking for corporate officers and the criteria is you must be a lawyer. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. I am Modesta, a Nigerian mommy vlogger living in Luxembourg. If you are coming across my channel for the first time, if this is your first time visiting my channel, hi, you're highly welcome. Do subscribe to the family, join the family, click on the red subscribe button, subscribe, join the family. If you haven't liked this video, give this video a massive thumbs up, okay? And then let's dive into the video. I've gotten like several questions from people asking me how can i migrate to luxembourg as a lawyer is it possible for a non-eu um person to to practice law in luxembourg how can this be done and if i come to luxembourg as a lawyer can i legally practice like you, you are a lawyer okay you studied law in school you want to migrate to luxembourg and practice that i'll be sharing with you in this video how you go about it or what you can do to practice law in Luxembourg. Just remember that it might be a bit challenging, but it is achievable. You can practice law, okay? You can. It is very possible. Very, very possible. If this is what you want to watch, keep watching and go nowhere. Let's just get right into the video without wasting much of your time. So the first things first, if you are a non-EU lawyer, what this means is if you're not a European citizen and maybe you did not study law in any of the European countries, maybe you are a lawyer based on Africa, you know, and you want to practice in Luxembourg and you have not practiced anywhere within the EU country. Now, this is what you do. As a non-EU lawyer, you must pass the Luxembourg bar exams if you want to practice law in Luxembourg. But before I dive much more into this video, I want to tell you that as a lawyer, okay, as a lawyer and solicitor, that is how they say it, as a lawyer and solicitor, you must not really like practice law like going to court that one is a bit challenging that one you must know the luxembourg law and you must speak this one is not one one language conversational the other native no this one is that you must know the three administrative languages in luxembourg at your fingertips you must speak it and speak it very well. Not that I speak one very well and I understand the little, the other one, or I understand the other one a little. No, it is not like that. You speak it very well. So the first things to do first, you must pass the Luxembourg bar exam. But I want to tell you that as a lawyer, you must not really practice law here. You have an advantage when it comes to companies who look for corporate officers. That's where you can come in with your law knowledge you know and serve as their corporate officers there are a lot of companies looking for corporate officers and the criteria is you must be a lawyer there are also companies looking for secretaries and one of the criteria is you must be a secretary but this does not apply to every company this does not apply to every company as companies state what they want in their job description. So even if you don't practice law like going to court and saying court or die in court, there are ways you can practice in your field in Luxembourg, okay? And you necessarily do not need to be here to write the exams and all of that. But in some cases, you need to know the law. So how do you do that? I am saying this because I know someone who is a lawyer, though she studied law in EU, okay, she studied in London, but she is in Luxembourg and she's working with one of the international companies. She's working as their secretary and that is big, big. 
You don't know how massive that is, okay? So, so she's not going to court as a lawyer wearing their black and wig and no. She sits in the office. She is the com company secretary and she's a lawyer. So, you know what that is? So, it's a, it's a big plus. It is a big plus to her. She's a big woman. So, if you come to Luxembourg as a lawyer and you want to practice law you can still practice there are things you need to put into consideration like i said you must pass the luxembourg bar exam we'll start with that one meaning that you will learn the luxembourg law everything about luxembourg because the method of if the eu is different from africa for example you studied law in africa okay or maybe let me use my country as an example you studied law in nigeria you know that Nigerian um, law is different from Luxembourg law. So it is even a bit relatable if you studied law in any of the EU because EU is European Union, right? And these countries under EU are related. They have similar laws. Their laws can... It's, it's relatable if you are an EU member. The, so many things that this country do, this other country do it, they have... They are, I think their their law is the same. They have the same law. Then the country will now add one or two to the EU law. You understand? Like for example, if you are living in any of the European countries, you know that they pay child support. What do I mean by child support? They pay your children from the day they are born. Even if it is 50 euro, that child must receive payment till the child is 16 years. Some countries they will say maybe 2018, or maybe in rare cases, if there are some you know challenges the child has or something, they can pay the child till 23 years. Okay, so this is a law in the EU that countries within the EU pay. Then also in the EU, they have this law that if you are living in Luxembourg, you can go to Italy and walk in Italy without being restricted as long as you have the european work permit i don't know if you guys are understanding the examples i'm giving so they're not restricting you because you are in in because you're from luxembourg you should not work in italy no italy is under the european union likewise luxembourg luxembourg is also under the european union so they are not stuck as long as you have the european work permit you can work in any european country as long as you have you are a re legal resident in any European country. You can go to any European country and live freely for at least three months. You understand? So these are laws, you know, governing the EU countries. Then each country will now have one or two of their own country law. So coming from Africa or coming from Nigeria to come and practice in Luxembourg, you are not coming to practice Nigerian law in Luxembourg. You are coming to practice the Luxembourg law. I meaning that you will learn the Luxembourg law, write the exams, and pass it. Then when you pass it, there are three categories of lawyers in Luxembourg. Yes, you heard me right. There are three categories of lawyers. This is after writing the Luxembourg um, law exams and you pass it, right? So you will belong to one of these three categories of lawyers in Luxembourg. The number one category of lawyers in Luxembourg and the highest is the court advocates. The court advocates are fully Luxembourg qualified lawyers. How do I say it? Are fully qualified Luxembourg lawyers. Whichever way, whichever sentence that suits you, whichever one you understand best, please choose. But you understand what I'm saying? These are fully trained qualified Luxembourg lawyers. So it means that they studied in Luxembourg, did their trainings in Luxembourg, passed the Luxembourg bar exams, and they are fully, fully qualified. Okay? And this is the highest of the three categories of Luxembourg lawyers. Then the number two category of lawyers in Luxembourg or Luxembourg lawyers are attorneys. Attorneys are qualified Luxembourg lawyers that are admitted to bar who still have to complete their trainings to represent parties in front of the various courts. Attorneys 
must be supervised by a court advocate except in few cases like i said the court advocate is the highest category of you know lawyers in luxembourg then the second is the attorney okay and attorneys are what qualified luxembourg lawyers but the difference is that they are qualified luxembourg lawyers right but they still have to complete their trainings okay and they must be supervised by an advocate you understand so yeah this is the second category of lawyer so if you studied in luxembourg you know you belong to the court advocate because you know the law you know everything if you're an attorney okay now this is now where people that are non eu you know lawyers come in which is the third and the last category of lawyers in luxembourg now the last one is the eu admitted lawyers or foreign eu eu or foreign admitted lawyers right it means people or lawyers that are not eu members but are admitted by the eu okay to practice their profession these are the people that oh they have this body profession in them they are they, they cannot leave it even if they go to anywhere they want to practice their profession they're ready to do anything they're ready to come back to study the law of a particular country you know that kind of a thing so they have that they are not ready to switch their profession for anything so this is where you now belong as eu admitted lawyer okay yes you want to be admitted to luxembourg bar the candidate who is interested to practice in luxembourg must hold a master's degree in law it is a must they're not saying degree or um if you don't have masters come we will admit you no they said you must hold a master's degree in law from a foreign university so a foreign university means a university that is not in luxembourg or a university that is not under the eu as long as they can search the university and find the university it is foreign and it is accepted worldwide okay so you must hold a master's degree from a foreign university and must be recognized later according to the luxembourg constitution so this is the number one thing you will do if you want to practice law in luxembourg so the next thing you will do if you if you have a master's degree and you are recognized into the luxembourg constitution the next thing you will do is to attend complementary courses in luxembourg law yes already you have a degree you have a master's in your field you just need you know a touch-up courses you know um from that country or from luxembourg you want to practice you need to learn their law and you know just touch up classes yes and after that after doing the complementary classes in luxembourg law you must prove that you know the three luxembourg administrative languages this is the last one so when you meet up with these criteria then you can practice in luxembourg and what you, I know you'll be asking, what are the three um, Luxembourg languages? Because in court, some people will come and say, ah, I cannot speak French. I want to speak German. How do you address that? And some people will say, okay, I cannot speak German. I want to speak French. Can you speak French? And then you must speak the national language, which is a criteria. It is one of the three administrative languages, Luxembourgish. You must speak Luxembourgish. Okay, you, if you want to practice law in Luxembourg, like you want to be going to court, you must know the three national languages. But if you want to be a lawyer and still work in foreign companies, you know, which your profession, you want to work with foreign companies, it is very, very possible. This way, you don't need the three national languages. You only need at least two, even in most cases, one, because Luxembourg is a multilingual country and most com companies here are international companies they work in english so they have this english speaking background in their offices or place of work so most times all you just need is even the english to be a lawyer and work with different companies i don't know if i throw more light on this and if you really enjoyed this video please give me a massive thumbs up leave a comment for me in the comment section
so let me know you know what you feel about this video i know i really really explained very well but if you want to practice law in luxembourg it is very much doable i already stated how you can practice law i already stated the things you should do before you can practice law in luxembourg but if you want to be a lawyer just you don't want to practice law you want to work with international companies it is still achievable okay all you just need is the knowledge the your non knowledge and then maybe the company's policies and if you meet their job description it is very much possible that you can work with them and you can still speak your english and you're not deprived of anything and then remember you mustn't be in luxembourg to apply for jobs i have a video where i said jobs can bring you to luxembourg yeah you can stay in nigeria you can stay in south africa and you apply for jobs in luxembourg and they will foot your bills even not even only you your family will come with you so yeah um i hope you really enjoyed this video and then um i wish you guys the best and then um, do have a nice time i'll see you guys in my next video thank you and bye bye bye